My husband has been feeding the things I love bleach because he wanted to put me in my place, and I'm devastated. I, 31F, have many houseplants, and some were quite expensive gifts from my sister. Within the last six months, at least a third of my plants have unalived. I've had houseplants my whole life due to my late mother's love for them, so I know a lot about plants. The unalives didn't seem related to lack of light, inconsistent watering, lack of nutrients, or even root rot, they just unalived very suddenly. I tried not to let it upset me too much because plants do perish, and none of the expensive ones had perished thus far, that is until now. Two months ago, my sister gave me a five-leaf monstera elbow-rooted plant for my birthday. It was beautiful. This morning, I was crying pretty hard as I unpotted it and took a look at the roots. I was scrutinizing the plant and roots intensely to see if its unalive was pest-related when I noticed a smell. I sniffed my potting mix and smelled bleach. The only other adult person in my home with unlimited and unobserved access to my plants is my husband, 32M. I wasn't able to talk to him for several hours, but when I could speak to him, I very calmly but directly asked if he had done something to my plants. At first, he denied it. I mentioned smelling bleach in the potting mix of the elbow my sister had given me, pointing out that the only person who could have put it there was him, and he eventually admitted to it. He confessed to putting small amounts of bleach into the fertilizer water jugs I prepare. I started crying and asked him why, why would you do this? You know I love these plants, why would you destroy them? He didn't really answer, nor did he apologize sincerely. The trust I had in him is absolutely gone. I think maybe counseling can help us, but he is the one who did this, and yet I'm the one who would have to set up the counseling. The angry part of me just wants to be done with the relationship. I know that might seem overboard, as we are married and share a child, but I now feel that I'm not safe around my husband. Edit. The townhome we live in is mine and my sister's, our inheritance from my mother. My husband has a gaming room that is his personal space, and there are no plants there. There are also no plants in the kitchen, just like he has a room for himself, I also have a sunroom where the concentration of plants lives, and he has no reason to go in there. Someone asked why I didn't smell the bleach when I was watering, and I can only say maybe my nose wasn't all up in there. I usually use a natural systemic in my fertilizer water called SNS 209 that smells heavily of rosemary, but I ran out last month and haven't replaced it yet. After our conversation yesterday, I needed space, and I spent the night in my daughter's room on a trundle bed. Later, I'm going to text my husband. He usually communicates more easily and opens up more via text than face to face. I'm going to ask for a reason, and I'll see what he says. Update 1. My husband won't be welcome in my home anymore, and I need to find a lawyer ASAP on Monday. I did text him, and he admitted again to putting bleach in my fertilizer water. He says it wasn't every jug I ever made, so that explains why it wasn't all my plants unaliving but randomly over the past six months. His exact words were that I deserve to be knocked down a peg. After the text communication, I left work early and entered his office. I usually respect his space completely, I don't even go in there to grab dirty dishes. I don't know what I was looking for, but the hundreds of comments saying he was working up to something worse or already doing something else really worried me. I went in there and found a drawer full of my daughter's dolls, dollhouse furniture, and little toys. I bought her that dollhouse for her fourth birthday last year, and she has loved it. She takes such good care of her toys, but something always ends up missing, and it's always my husband who notices. He lectures her about keeping track of her things and how he won't let her play with her dollhouse if she keeps losing things. He keeps going until she starts to sob. When I hear this happening, I always step in and ask him to take a break. I assumed he was losing his cool. I've told him this is not how to deal with a kid, and he says he just wants her to grow up responsible. I now see it was some weird scheme or setup or something. He would steal the stuff and stash it away and then point out it was gone to berate our daughter until she cried. My sister, her husband, and her husband's dad came over this afternoon, and they've changed the locks. I've texted him to tell him he isn't coming back and that he can come on Saturday morning to grab his essential things, but my brother-in-law and another man will be there to watch. Sorry if this is unclear or things seem missing, this Reddit post isn't my top priority. I will probably not be updating again. Thank you to everyone worried about my safety.